All right, we just showed up to this job. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of animals here. They're trying to contain this little colt here. It's been following us around. So we got a little section, it's about 50 feet. We're gonna run our continuous fence. And we're gonna put a four foot gate right in the middle. Match up with this other gate over here. So I demo some, some wire, some T posts. Here. And uh, we're gonna show you today how it kind of works and uh, how quick and easy it is. Great product. So here we go. types of uh, thicknesses and diameters for posts, but specifically on this job we use two and three eighths of an inch pipe. As you can see here, we drilled down two and a half feet and we filled back filled it with concrete. Here you can see our string line. We went from the corner post and ran a straight shot creating our straight line. Our continuous fence panels they're universal so they can go on a wood post or metal post even for the same job like it is here we have a wood post and a metal post for metal you would use uh, uh, self-tapping screws and for wood you would use lags as you can see here we have a three inch by quarter inch lag and it's really simple we have our continuous fence clamp here going on to a railroad tie just line it up And anchor it right to it. So this is a joint. A lot of customers ask uh, with our continuous fence clips without it being a solid weld, uh, do they the panel slide once you install it. Uh, as you can see here we got the continuous fence clips on this end and we're gonna show you how it works and it, it doesn't slide at all. We got two guys pulling on it as you can see, there's no movement in the joints. It's still really nice and solid. So now we're gonna explain how you install a continuous fence gate. This is a four foot five rail gate that we have. And the install process is really easy. Um, you use a simple drill bit to drill through this post, like, a, like you can see here, a Milwaukee drill bit with a Dewalt drill. This is a J-bolt hinge design with a female end. As you can see here, the all thread allows us to adjust these nuts here, uh, giving us proper spacing and allowing the gate to, to be level. How we adjust these nuts here, just with the simple crescent wrench. simple latching design. What we use is a chain keeper and chain. Simply the chain keeper, the chain wraps around and goes right into the keeper. So I'm going to show you uh, what we got done just before lunchtime. We're here in Mesa, Arizona doing a project for a customer. Uh, we started out about 7 this morning and it's now 11 and we already have it wrapped up. That's just how fast this continuous fence goes up. As you can see here, this is our five rail continuous fence. Here we mounted it onto our old railroad tie with lags and our continuous fence clip. Walking down here, you can see a joint. This is where the two panels slip together, male and female ends, they just slide right together. We have our post, a two and three eighths inch round post. We went down about two and a half feet 
and we put, we backfilled it with concrete. We also, on this job, we put a four foot five rail gate, as you can see. It's about the same here as it was at the end. Our welds going into a wood post. It's a fast, easy product to install. Like I said, with three guys we did this and uh, only a couple hours. There was an old fence here, and we demoed it and everything just before lunchtime. 55 feet of fence. Great product. Continuous fence panels by 7 Feet Fence and Barn.